So um, my name is Olive Martin, and I did an analytical report um, as well as a recommendation report on social media management systems. The title of my paper was Tweet, Post, and Share. this system normally. So um, I'm an applied economics major, so actually this report doesn't really have to do with my major. The reason that I'm interested in it is because I'm the director of social media for a nonprofit called Truth About Trade and Technology. Um, so it actually turned out to be a really practical situation that came up. We had um, been using a social media management site called um, Hootsuite, which I'll talk about later. But a problem came up, we couldn't um, adjust our membership pricing. Um, so that spurred us to think about maybe looking into alternatives. Um, so our question that we wanted to answer through this report is what's the best social media management system available? Um, so through my methods of research, what I was looking for was to answer, or to have a social media system that um, fit all of our criteria and then um, that went into, I used um, um, these research techniques to find out the available systems. So uh, my first triangle, or first corner of the triangle was print. Um, Mashable is a site that's pretty well known in the social media um, world. They do awards every year for the, the best social media sites, the best management systems, and that sort of thing. So I used their awards on the management systems to get an idea of what um, I should look into. I also used an interview with another social media director to kind of get her opinion. It turned out not to be the best idea because she actually doesn't use a social media management site, but some of the things that she said um, were applicable. And then I, the third corner was that I used the web. Um, I have features listed, so the answers to the criteria question were listed on sites. Um, so, so we'll go through the criteria, through the results, um, and that'll kind of go over the available systems too. So the first uh, criteria that kind of spurred this was the cost of the social media system. So um, these are our four available systems, TweetDeck, Engage 20, 121, Sprout Social, and Hootsuite was uh, kind of in there as a control, that's the system that we're currently using. So TweetDeck and Engage 121 are both free sites, um, and then Sprout Social is $59 per month per user. Uh, that's the same that Hootsuite is, so they're a dollar more expensive um, to use Hootsuite. And the good thing for both of these is that for our system, we only have one account. We use our uh, media email, so we only have one user. So this is how much it would be per month. Okay, so then um, the next criteria was links. It's, a, it's not um, that intuitive. The links means that it will link to Twitter, Facebook, uh, and Google Plus because that's the three social media accounts that we use right now. Um, so as you can see, TweetDeck links to Twitter, which is pretty obvious. Engage21 links to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, different blogs and forums, microblog and Wikipedia. Um, Sprout Social links to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google Plus, as does Hootsuite, but along with that, they link into Mixy and Foursquare. Um, so both or Engage121, Sprout Social, and Hootsuite met all the criteria that we wanted to fulfill, um, which was perfect because, and going on to the next one, um, they also uh, would include the URL compression. That just means that when you like type in a website, you don't want to have the big URL in like a tweet because tweets have a character limit of 140 characters, so if you have a URL in there, it's going to take up a lot of characters. So we needed sites that would compress them down. Um, so Sprout Social and Hootsuite will both compress them as well as link back to our website. Um, we use WordPress for our organization's website. So we needed it not only to shorten a website down, but we needed it to link back. So it's a little confusing. It took me a while to understand that, but really what you need to know is that TweetDeck, Engage121 do not link back. Um, Sprout Social and Hootsuite do.
And then um, our one of the next criteria that we used was will the management system give us reports and analysis? Um, so we one of the things that we want to do with social media is really just to engage people in a conversation about our organization. So we want to make sure that we're really effective on social media. Um, so TweetDeck and Engage 121 will both live stream reports. They won't make any report of a month, a week, that kind of thing. They'll just show you if people are talking about your organization at that moment. Um, whereas about Social and Hootsuite will not only um, so on here it's listed as free, but actually it's included in your membership. They'll um, create a report for you and they'll also make it into a PDF file so you can print it out. Uh, for our organization, we are a nonprofit, so we have a board of directors that oversees our operations. So it's really important for them to know what we're doing so that they'll keep funding us. So Hootsuite and Sprout Social are really ideal because we can send the board of directors our report of what we're doing on social media sites. Um, and then the last uh, criteria that we went over was scheduling. Uh, so we want to have a really consistent presence on social media. We want to be posting at least six days a week, depending on the site. Um, one or It's one time on Facebook and six times on Twitter every day, um, six days a week. So we wanted to make sure that we can schedule them if I, as a social media director, am not at my computer all day long, that we can still be consistently present. So TweetDeck and Engage 121 don't have any sort of scheduling feature. Sprout Social and Hootsuite both do, and they're, both of their features are very similar. They'll allow you to schedule ahead of time. Um, Hootsuite does have a unique feature where they'll let you update your messages, so have a uh, in a bulk uh, kind of order. So you can go through all the different tweets you want to have in one day or even for a full week and just type it all in without having to do it one day at a time. So it saves a lot of time having that feature available. Um, so going through this, at the end, I did recommend Sprout Social. Um, as you kind of saw, Hootsuite and Sprout Social are really similar systems. Right now we are using Hootsuite. It's a dollar more expensive. So I figured we should try out Sprout Social. It's a dollar less, has some of the same features. And the nice thing that I um, saw is that the interface is a lot more user friendly. It's a little bit more professional. So. Um, they do offer a month free trial, so we can try out that month, give it another month. Um, we're not going to be spending any more money, and the worst that's going to happen is that we'll have to go back to Hootsuite, our original site. So do you guys have any questions about the presentation? I know you might not be familiar with social media and being a director. I did actually have, sorry, I forgot to ask this. I had one question for you guys, um, which might be kind of a dumb question in our generation, but how many of you are on a social media site? So it's pretty much, the, yeah, pretty much everybody. It might not be one of the ones that I listed, but we all um, engage somehow. So are there any questions about maybe how I manage a social media site or that kind of thing? Yeah, go ahead. Have you been able to discuss this with one of, someone that's higher up than you and what are their thoughts on it? Yeah, so um, asking somebody higher up than me was actually what spurred me to go into this report, it wasn't, um, they didn't ask me to do an analysis in a report, but they had just mentioned that we can't adjust our billing. I actually don't, I'm not in charge of billing, so I didn't know this was a problem until they brought it up. Um, so they did for, we didn't have the service at all for a week, um, which we found out was really hard. So that's kind of what spurred me to look into other ones. So um, I haven't sent them the report of what we're, what I recommend. Um, but I have just been talking to them and they, they kind of are on the same boat. They think that trying something new, it won't hurt, I don't think, hopefully. But <laughs> are there any other questions? Yeah, Abby. Um, has there been other people who have maybe used these sites that you know of or that you were able to like get in contact with? Right, so um, I did try to contact people who have used these other sites like you're asking, um, but it, Funny enough, I don't know that uh, that many social media directors. My interview was with another social media director, and they don't use um, management sites at all for any of their um, their accounts. So she wasn't familiar with them. So I had to rely on like customer reviews and that kind of thing, um, and blogs that had recommended them. But yeah, I hopefully will find out some more people who are doing my job so I can get a little bit more perspective. 
Any last questions? Thank you guys. Thank you.